words are the norm, but I'm here to inform. Are they secure? We can't assure. Memorable words used by over two thirds. Tip number one, safer in the longer run. Reset passwords regularly. Do this automatically. Tip number two, I'll give you a clue. Random strings are harder to guess. The longer the better the less. Hackers appear and try to crack. Can't get your identity back. Cracking 16 digit passwords takes under an hour. It's time to reverse the balance of power. Strength and security less appraised. Biometrics became the latest craze. Fingerprint, cyber detection, and voice recognition. Promise no access without physical permission. Physical characteristics are unique, but how trustworthy are these techniques? At best, they provide a false sense of security. Worst case, an irreversible threat to your safety and permanent loss of identity. Online social media footprint lets hackers make dummy fingerprints. They take copies of photos of your hands, then use a scanner. That's all it demands. Glass in hand, night out at a bar. They copy your print, ID of Rivar. Iris scanners can be tricked, yet again creates a conflict. Moving an object replicates a blink. It's easier to bypass than you think. Research is found, the pupil's reflection gives keyloggers unfettered detection. To see the keys entered on a keyboard and access up the private data store. Audio clips mined online for hackers, it's a gold mine. They can replicate your voice with spam calls. You wouldn't even notice these pitfalls. Or they copy your voice in close proximity while maintaining their anonymity. Siri and Google now voice apps didn't stop these attacks. Biometric theft is permanent. You can't change your iris voice to fingerprints. Step authentication uses two passwords for verification. Email is the first step, then a one time passcode sent by SMS. But both are one factor, no match for an attacker. Email and SMS on your phone, mobile stolen, all is known. Mobile data intercepted, leaving you unprotected. Two-factor authentication differs. Two separate factors act as triggers. First possession of a device, phone, iPad, a laptop, too precise. Second, knowledge of a pin. Both are required to let you in. So that's it? Problem solved? No. Some risks are still unresolved. Far superior is key base to FA. This is what higher faster hopes to convey. The pin is neither transmitted nor stored. Phone stolen, thieves can't get aboard. A few false attempts with your pin. Hackers locked out. Security's built in. An app with its own keypad makes the key log is mad. Hide the camera lens while you type so it's not in plain sight.